welcome you all for this program we call INSIMA, short for English Science and Mathematics. Welcome to B class. This is Teacher Jackie from Ikpit Elementary School. And today, I am with you to talk about List Mastered Skills in English in the Division of Misamis Oriental. School year 2020-2021 is actually the most challenging school year that I have ever faced. And I guess this is true for everybody. It's not only the teachers that face a lot of challenges, but also the learners and the parents. Teaching and learning in the new normal setup is really different from the face-to-face -face classes that we used to have. But congratulations because we all have gone through it. Let us start this session by defining the least mastered skill. Least mastered skill refers to any skill from the competencies of a given subject of which learners show most of the difficulty in performing. Refers to set of activities that learners perform poorly, individually or as a group. And it is the kind of topic that learners are most confused of, cannot relate to, and or prefer to skip due to lack of comprehension with the matter. All of these things that we did were actually from the curriculum guide, but that was before the pandemic. During the pandemic, we have MELC or the most essential learning competencies. With these competencies, we were able to complete the weekly home learning plans, self-learning modules. We did a lot of video lessons, individual learning development plan, the learning activity sheets, ATC. End of thinking capacity. <laughs> <laughs> that means many more. And of course, all the related forms for monitoring, assessment, and evaluation. If you're going to check out our MALC, this is on pages 129 to 142. That is for grade 1 until grade 10. Those are the things that we magnificently did in school year 2020-2021. Before our session, if you have observed, I have loaded a very short questionnaire asking teachers to fill out, especially about the least mastered skills of our learners from quarter one to quarter four. So I would like to thank first all the teachers, all the schools that have participated in that very quick survey. to you the least mastered skills that I found out from quarter one to quarter four. Please take note that I didn't include the grade level in this presentation. This is actually a consolidation of your responses and these skills are actually very applicable from grade one to grade six. Check it out. Here are the least mastered skills in English quarter one. Use plural form of frequently occurring irregular nouns. Write short sentences and paragraphs. Initiate conversations with peers in a variety of school settings. Write a short paragraph providing another ending for a story listened to. Identify the structure, purpose, and language features of different text type. Identify different meanings. Infer the author's tone, mood, and purpose. Compose clear and coherent sentences using appropriate grammatical structures, just like the subject verb agreements and kind of adjectives, and more. Write a short descriptive paragraph about a character or setting in stories listened to. Present a coherent, comprehensive report on differing viewpoints. 
To sum it up, the least mastered skills in English for quarter one are the following. Grammar, vocabulary, writing, and reporting. Here are the least mastered skills in English quarter two. Recognize some words represented by common abbreviations. Distinguish fact from opinion. Use tenses of the verbs, just like the past, present, future in sentences. Construct simple sentences. Use the past form of regular and irregular verbs. Compose clear and coherent sentences using appropriate grammatical structures, just like the aspects of verbs, modals, and conjunctions. Making an outline from a selection read. To sum it up, the least mastered skills in English for quarter two are the following, grammar, recognition, and writing. Here are the least mastered skills in English quarter three. Write simple story. Identify cause and or effect of events. Recognize sentence and non-sentences. Following instructions. Recognize some words represented by common abbreviations. Distinguish between general and specific statements. Identify the main idea, key sentence, and supporting details from text listened to. Composing a paragraph. Make inferences and draw conclusions based on texts. Participate in choral speaking and echo reading of short poem, rhymes, and stories with repeated patterns and refrain in English. Evaluate narratives based on how the author developed elements. To sum it up, the least mastered skills in English for quarter three are the following grammar recognition identification and distinguishing writing and following instructions here are the least mastered skills in english quarter four recognize and read some irregularly spelled words answer the wh question restate facts from informational texts Listen to narrative and informational text or poem and to give one's reaction to an event or issue. Write or compose an editorial. Recognize describing words for people, objects, things, and places. Write short story with complete elements. Use of appropriate graphic organizers in a selection read. Use of verbal and nonverbal cues in a TV broadcast. To sum it up, least mastered skills in English quarter 4 are the following Grammar, recognition, identification, distinguishing, writing, with listening, and of course, following instructions I know that without the face-to-face -face classes, to administer an intervention is quite a challenge But guess what? Teachers are very creative, teachers are very resourceful, and we are very smart to take actions despite of all these challenges that distance learning has caused us. So here are some of the interventions that our fellow teachers, including myself, had administered and had applied to our classes. Applied interventions are Activity Sheets, Worksheets, LAS Unlocking of Difficulties, Vocabulary Enhancements Phone Calls, Text Messages, Chats home visitation, reteaching, share links for available video lessons and other supplementary materials, simplified modified activities. So now, you might be asking me, what is this INSIMA for? INSIMA, for Ms. Orr, is the combination of English, science, and mathematics. This is actually the ultimate integration of subjects. INSIMA is an integrative approach that we are going to apply in our teaching. Hopefully, we will begin this coming school year, school year 2021-2022. It means that we are going to integrate English, science, and mathematics. We're going to roll these three in one. And of course, we are going to share with you how we are going to integrate these lessons and how we are going to do about this approach. Once again, this is Teacher Jackie and I hope that I have shared with you today something of value. Miss Orr, be more sharp.